Hi, in the previous lessons, we have created user sign up and user sign in. But when a user is signed in, he must be able to see his profile. So in this lesson, guys, we're going to create user profile in the back end. So without wasting time, let's begin. Okay, guys, so um, what I'm going to do first um, in the sign in component, the last time I I forget to remove, I mean, this name because we are not going to use it. You see, we only need email and password and save. And other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some code refactoring because uh, let me show you this user controller. I mean, sign up sign in is, is i mean related to is related to um off okay so uh, i'm gonna rename it okay in the controllers folder we name it to off okay like so and probably it will be break so uh we should call it here let's see this one should be off to. okay okay so you see off in the world and uh, also I should uh, this also should relate it to I mean I'm gonna remove single user I'm gonna create separate I mean for I mean file for it so this um, let's let's rename it I mean off okay like so and probably will be um break again and let's see where we we'll call it okay in the app okay in the main app let's see where we have i mean uh, yes in the app where we have okay what yeah it should be off okay okay as you can see everything is okay but uh, I will name it I mean off I will name it not user route in off off route okay and call it here in the middleware so uh, here and if we save everything should be okay in the back end okay app is running on port and db connected okay guys the last thing i want to take into consideration in the off controller previously user controller is this comment i want to remove it why uh i mean in the past few lessons i was testing but here uh in the sign up process whenever it finds uh an email already exists it will return this custom message okay and save I think that's it and now let's go to the process to create the user profile okay guys first of all um, I'm gonna create inside the middleware folder another file name in off off that JS okay uh, just to save some time I will need our custom error response and the user model i will copy all of these okay and inside of middleware and paste i'm gonna need one more thing i'm gonna need i mean uh, the json web token cons jwt equal require okay uh json web token okay so and um, after that i'm gonna create a method that will check whenever a user is authenticated okay check check if um user is authenticated okay and let's create the method okay expert that is authenticated indicated 
OK. It should be an async. OK. Our function. Like so. And what we'll have here, we'll have, I mean, request, response. Next. Next to go in the next middleware, whatever we want. OK. And in inside our method, I will need... Um, I will need the token okay but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna extract the token okay from i mean uh, the request that uh cookies okay why uh if you remember when we i mean when we create i mean let me show you this uh, of controller let's see okay of controller okay as you can see you see we give the name i mean uh, token okay the name of, of our cookie is token so we extract the token here okay so let's continue okay and uh, what we are going to do we're going to check if the token exists okay make sure token exist okay and this will be a condition okay so if the token is not exist okay what we are going to do return okay return next we have how custom uh, our response okay no our response okay we have uh, here uh, what we are going to say I mean you must log in to access this resource like so and we're gonna send also the status otherwise okay okay and uh, after that uh, okay because we have async um, I'm gonna uh, add a uh, try catch block okay okay like so and here in between what we are going to do we are going to verify the token okay verify verify token and to verify the token let's create uh, I mean a variable name name decoded okay because we have JWT okay JWT okay that verify so you could check the documentation guys okay we have this method on JWT verify and verify take I mean, we have, I mean, the token. Okay, we're going to verify this token. And the next parameter to pass is the secret. To have the secret, we're going to access um, the env5 process. Dot env. Okay, so we have our env file. Let me show you this JWT. Okay, so here. Okay, so we access the JWT secret. Okay, so to verify. Okay, so because here it check. Okay, and here uh, it verify when the token is exist. So we're gonna verify. Okay, uh, this token. Okay, so after that we're gonna save. I mean uh, request. We're gonna save create an object request user. Okay, equal await because we are using async await. This user model, the user model, this user. Okay, dot find. Uh, let's say we're gonna find by um, ID. Okay, and what we are going to add this decoded. Okay, decoded dot 
ID because here when we are decoded the token, the token has I mean it has the token and the currently logged user ID. Okay, so like so. So whenever we want to access the currently logged ID, we ID we're gonna use this request dot user. You're gonna see how it works in the will word. Okay, so after that uh, we have um let's add uh, i mean next to go to the next phase okay next okay this next i mean i'm gonna show you why when i'm using middleware in the world okay so here in catch catch error okay i'm gonna send a response here okay and has response uh, i'm gonna send we are going to send uh, the same um the same yeah the same message okay i think uh this that's it guys for this part okay so whenever we want to protect a what we're gonna add this is authenticated method okay after creating this method i mean to protect any what we want so i'm gonna create the user profile controller here okay let's add some space yeah, add a comment and user profile okay like so and uh, what i'm going to do let's create uh, the method i mean exports okay user profile okay like so but i will have async okay Okay, so uh, what we are going to do, cons user, I mean info dot wait, or wait, I mean the user model, okay, user find, uh, let's, I'm gonna add find by ID, find. This one find by ID. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to use, guys, pay attention. This you remember I had I create this this object request that user. Okay, so I'm gonna use it here. Okay, that ID. Okay, to find the current logged user. Okay. And uh, I will send a response. Where's the status? Okay, the status code will be 200. Okay, 200. And I will say the, send a JSON response to. Okay, in between, what we want to send uh, uh, success. Okay, comma, and I will send the user. I mean, this user I will send in the response, guys. So that's it. And finally, let's create uh, the route. Okay, so we're gonna go into the route. Okay, of route. Okay, here I'm gonna create another route. Okay, this will be also a get, but I will name it. I mean, get me, okay, get me, I have to, uh, to bring, I mean, uh, the user profile, uh, here, um, user profile is in the off, okay, so you see, user profile is in the off controller, okay, let's bring user profile here, I mean, uh, in the off, okay, and like so we have user profile and this user profile we're gonna add it get me user profile but um as we have a protected router we i'm going to call uh, i mean is authenticated in the middleware okay so so what next i'm gonna do okay so cons ok 
okay and uh, i'm gonna bring is authenticated okay is authenticated um equal require okay so i'm going to go i am in the work i'm going to go one step up one step up in in the world okay after that i need to go in the middleware okay and after that uh, let's see i have to find the off okay the off and now i have this middleware okay a user must be signed in to access i mean his profile okay so uh, uh, i think that's it and now let's give a try okay now here in postman um let's add another request this one will be um will be profile okay profile and this also will be a get request and uh, the word is uh, get me okay so um, body wow okay we want to have json response okay and uh, okay let's give a try now okay if we send the request as you can see success false error okay so uh, you must log in to access this resource okay but uh, let's try to i mean sign in okay so send the request okay success true and here when we come back to the profile and let's send again the request okay as you can see guys uh, the currently logged user is manuel and this is the email okay so um like i have showed you we successfully uh teach you the how to make a user profile okay in vern stack so if you have question please drop it in the comment section and uh, if you like this video please don't drop a, I mean, a thumbs up okay and invite your friend to this channel so um thanks for watching see you in the next video